So last time we, t we talked about it, we worked on how the handle comes down and the club mm -hmm. works out this way, that we're not trying to do this, which you're doing a nice job with that. Mm -hmm. We spent quite a bit of time working on how this works. So your right hip goes back and then it stays back yeah. here so you create space. Yes, yes. All right, so how do you feel overall that you're doing with that? Does that feel good? Does it feel, does it come and go? What happens? Uh, what I'm, well, uh, it feels pretty good. What I'm, uh, go ahead, I'm good. What it really helps is to shorten my back swing and to, when I go back, to actually do not do this. Do okay. This, do this. And from here, yes, I'm trying to not do this. Okay, so rather than, Here's what we got to do with your brain, too. Rather than say, I'm trying not to do something, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to say, okay, here's what, here's what I want you to do. I'm trying to, yes, I'm trying to... Perfect. This away, like, as far as possible. Okay. And not interfere. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's perfect. And what it really helps if my back swing is short. And I've been working on having it a little more um, around. Yeah, low. Uh huh. Instead of here. So here. Okay. Now the length of your backswing. Mm. And this is where people get. Everybody wants to know how do I make my backswing a certain length. If you want your backswing to shorten, you can't just swing here and shorten it. So the shorter you want your backswing, the sooner, not faster but the sooner you have to change directions. So when your lower body changes directions and starts going this way is what determines the length of your swing, because then it keeps it athletic. Mm -hmm. If you try to shorten your backswing, and I see people doing this all the time where they say, okay, I only want my swing to go to right here. So they swing to there and then they try to hit. Well, that doesn't work. As you go back, right about it here, start changing directions when the club's right about here. So start right now. Okay, so if we look at that on video, that your swing was didn't even get close to shoulder height. So if I started the club here and I aggressively move, see, there's no way for me to go back any further than there. So you're learning to time the change of directions to create the length of swing that you want. Okay. So it's all one flowing motion. It's not, I want the club here, sure. so I'm going to swing to sure. here, and then I'm going to yeah. go. That'll kill you. Okay. So whatever length you want your swing, the timing or the... Uh, Is, uh, can you use timing as rhythm? Timing, rhythm, or there are two... Well, tempo. tempo. Tempo is the pace at which things happen. Yes. Rhythm is the sequence. See, as, as soon as your arms start going this way, your body starts going that way. Okay. okay, so in golf, they've done this to us. Swing all the way back to the top and then try to go. Well, if you took a tennis ball and it bounced and you swung all the way to here and then tried to go, you couldn't hit it. It's no longer athletic. So it's boom, boom. So the timing or the, the tempo which you change directions is what makes your swing work. So you find the tempo of your change of directions, say boom, boom. So I start to change directions right there so my swing only goes here. If I wait, my swing's gonna get longer. So I'm just warning you, the shorter you want your swing, you do it with the tempo. Okay, okay, not with or, or, the length. Right, don't try to stop it. Make the change of directions, there you go. Now that's what keeps your swing now, if somebody watches that and they go, God, that's all together, that's not very long, and you're going, well, it's just for you, it's a motion. Okay. You're tying motions together. That's, the swing's got to be putting motions together okay. and momentum okay. and how your body moves more than the positions.